Hello and welcome to another video of the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video of the 5 Minute Wednesday series, I want to talk about how you can find out salary information for a potential job that you're looking at. So we all wonder how much money we can earn when we get a new job or when we're trying to switch jobs or what is the potential really for the jobs that I currently have. And finding out that information can be quite challenging if you don't know where to look. Also, a lot of uh, employers really do not allow you to talk to your peers to find out how much is the person next to me making um, we're doing the same role. So are we getting the same salary or not? So how much that is enforceable, that is a completely different question. I'm not going to go into that here. Um, what I will show you today is really how you can go with public resources and find out how much money you can earn in a specific job. So first of all, when I talk about um, the salary information in this video, just be aware there are regional differences. You might live in a high cost area of living and um, the salaries are significantly higher compared to an area where the salaries are significantly lower due to the lower cost of living as an example. But even then you can still identify really a range of how much money you can earn. The first resource I want to look at is LinkedIn job listings. So if you go to linkedin.com and you search for jobs, not every job lists a salary, but there are quite a few that show the salary information for the position that is advertised. But if you find a job listing there, take that number, write it down, because we're not going to just look at one source of information. We're going to compare it to several different resources. So now we go to glassdoor.com and we want to search for a job in our regional area. And then you go through the job listings and you potentially find that job information. And eventually it even has salary information. But then you can also go and um, once you find this job, now you go and uh, look at the company. So you take a company review on Glassdoor and then you go through the actual reviews. There's often salary information listed as well. And you can put these pieces together. Again, write down these numbers because we're not going to just use one or two uh, sources of information we're going to use several. Then there's a website called ziprecruiter.com and uh, they list salary information. There's a website called salary.com. They list um, salary information and uh, you can collect those numbers again and um, add them to the list of what you have. I mentioned LinkedIn earlier and indeed.com is another great website to find new jobs and there are also uh, job listings that contain the salary information. So you want to search for your geographical area and then you want to search for the appropriate job. So if you're searching for a help desk position or systems administrator position, find those job listings, go through and compare. Um, also write down that information. So in other ways to get salary information is to use paid reports by third party resources. One of the sources that I used for that video was a paid report from a website called Business Insider. Business Insider has some free information available as well, but you can subscribe to that website and get access to their paid reports. And um, that's where you can find actually really well researched articles containing salary information for specific jobs or for specific companies. Then one of the best resources really to find salary information is the government, not just the US government or the state government, but local city level government, county level government uh, websites. So all these um, jobs and the appropriate salaries are public information and you can find out really what are the individuals making. And um, one thing really is that you need to know that uh, government jobs usually pay less compared to uh, companies in the private sector. And um, based on my research, I would say that the difference is between 10 to 25 percent. So um, if you have some numbers and then you look at the pu uh, public government type of information for the salaries, um, you should be safe to add 10 to 25 percent on top of that to get a comparable salary in the private sector. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. It really helps me a lot. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.